My name is Tim Slater. I'm a professor at the University of Wyoming. I'm here with a team of folks that are hosting the Bighorn Basin Drone Festival that's right here at Powell High School today. We have students here that are racing drones against one another to see who can get through obstacle courses the fastest. We have students here that are doing precision flight missions where they land in precarious spots or they try to fly through mines and tunnels. We have students here that are doing computer coding that are figuring out how to program their drones to auto for autonomous flight so that these drones can do repeated tasks over and over again. Uh, have you have you flown drones before? Is yes. This... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in the drone course at the high school. Oh, cool. How is that drone course? It's a lot of fun. Really yeah. Good. We're learning important skills, so, I mean, it's good. good skills to help us fly drones better. Right. Well, it looked like you uh, you navigated that course pretty smoothly, so. Yep. Yeah, better so than... <laughs> have you ever done anything like that with uh, in the class? or? Yes, we've had a few miniature obstacles courses but nothing this big. Uh, How did you find out about this? Like what got you interested in coming down today? Um, I actually came to watch my boyfriend and then everyone kind of just convinced me to fly one as since I'm already here. Are you glad you did? Yeah it was fun. <laughs> oh. I'm Ron Nettie. I'm a professional photographer here in Powell primarily you know, doing real estate, and, uh, I, but I also do other things, and I'm going to, well, probably three years ago, three or four years ago, the owner of this property um, was the founder of Tombstone Pizza. So a little bit on the company background, TT Aero Products, we built model airplanes back then, but back in 1995 I saw this whole drone thing starting to happen. There are fields that we can look at water content on crops, all kinds of things that you can use a drone for. In my case, search and rescue. I work for search and rescue. We're using our drones now to go out there. If somebody gets lost out there in the woods, we can use a drone to help go out there and find them. The Bighorn Basin Drone Festival is the first of the 2022 season. We have drone festivals all over the states for all over the state for students to participate in. We have racing competitions in Gillette at Gillette College. We have racing competitions at Casper College, at WyoTech, um, here at Powell High School, and the state championships will be held in June in Buffalo, Wyoming. Drone technology represents a really exciting set of career opportunities for students. It's not just flying the drones, that's an important thing, but it's also programming the drones, doing the computer technology related to the technology of drones, engineering propellers that burn just correctly. It's about using the software programs to do mapping, to do search and rescue, to work with law enforcement. There's a wide variety of careers involved with drone technology, which make it fantastic to get kids involved with because they can see the wide range of things that 21st century jobs are going to look like.